everybody, I'm Mark, and today on Make Your Mark, we are upstyling some inexpensive thrift store trays. Now, I run across these trays all the time, and they're always two or three dollars, and I always think to myself, what can I do with these trays? So today, with the help of my friends at Redesign with Prima and Sherbonder, I'm going to upstyle them for my home. Now, before I forget, thumbs up if you like this video, and leave me a comment if you have a question about this project or you just wanna say hello, and you know how much I love it when you stop by and say hello. Are you ready? Let's upstyle some thrift store trays. The first trays had no handles and were used by the aristocrats of the time to serve meals that had been tasted beforehand by the servants to ensure they contained no poison. The practice of interior design goes back to the ancient Egyptians, who decorated their mud homes with basic furnishings enhanced by animal skins, murals, sculptures, and painted urns. Originally, home decor was for the very rich until the emergence of the middle class in the 18th century. Ordinary people lived in shacks with one or two rooms with basic stools and mattresses stuffed with straw. Now we have TJ Maxx and my channel to shake up your shack and turn it into a castle. In 1949, can spray paint was invented by Edward Seymour. His wife Bonnie suggested an aerosol can be filled with paint. So once again, a woman invented it, and as usual, a man took credit for it. I'm going to leave a link to Sherbonder and Redesign with Prima and everything I used for this project in the description below. Thumbs up if you like this video, leave me a comment and I will get back to you. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and press the notification bell so that you know I have a new video. Grab any one of my craft books for inspiration. I think you'll like The Big Ass Book of Crafts Volume 2 and I will see you next week. Bye. on a piece of art, Blah. one more time.